Redirection is an important training skill that can be used to proactively guide your pet away from a potential problem or as a strategy to keep your pet from practicing undesirable behavior. Instead of physically pulling your pet away from a problem or physically intervening when the animal does something you'd rather they not do, you can instead use redirection to guide your pet towards a more preferable activity or place. Redirection, in effect, provides pets with the power of choice and encourages the animal to willingly move away from a stressful situation or to stop engaging in a problem behavior. Common tactics for redirection include using known behaviors and tricks, as well as positive distractions to capture and channel the animal's attention and movements. The animal may then be further guided towards an acceptable alternative activity, or management strategies may then be used to help resolve a potential problem, such as clipping the pet on leash or placing the pet in a pet-specific room. For redirection to be most effective, it's important to capture your pet's attention with something they're interested in. A food lure placed in front of the pet's nose that's then used to turn the pet's head away and encourage your movement away to a different activity or area is one possible redirection strategy. Toys are also a potential way to encourage your pet to turn their attention to you or towards a different activity. The toy can be moved out in front of your pet and moved or tossed in such a way that it gains their attention. With dogs, you may want to use a soft toy, a fetch type toy, or a tug toy. The game Find It can also be employed as a redirection strategy. This helps to move the pet's focus to an acceptable activity. This type of redirection can be especially valuable when working with different animals together while they're on leash. A dog in the Find It position is likely to have their head down, and Find It can also direct their movement and their attention away from the other animal. Requesting behaviors the animal already knows is another redirection strategy that offers the animal an extra opportunity to earn rewards and serves to pair positives with what may otherwise be an emotionally tense situation. Touch or place training, for instance, can be helpful behaviors to guide the pet's attention and their body away from what may be a potential problem. Or sit may be used to keep the pet in place to better handle the situation, such as then using management strategies like clipping on a leash or moving the potential problem, such as another animal, out of the area. If your pet is highly focused, you may need to use an additional strategy, interruption. This can be done by using an attention getter, such as a noise or visual movement, that gains the pet's interest in a non-upsetting manner to then allow for the redirection strategy to be used, or for management strategies to be used. Some strategies that temporarily interrupt the pet's focus include making a kissing noise, movement back or slightly to the side to draw the animal's focus on you, or a visual movement that's combined with a sound, such as a quiet clap, or gently tapping a foot on the ground. When choosing an interruption strategy, it's important to choose one that's likely to get the pet's attention, but not be scary or upsetting to the animal. Once you've temporarily gained your pet's attention, then employ your redirection or management strategies. When you understand how to positively redirect your pet's focus and energy, you have a helpful strategy for removing your animal from a potentially troublesome circumstance, as well as a way to proactively guide your pet away from bad habits you'd rather they not do. Redirection is ideally used before tension heightens or before the unwanted behavior actually takes place, but it can also be used as a strategy to gently interrupt a situation that's taking place to then take immediate steps to refocus the pet or manage the situation. Now that you have a basic understanding of redirection, go give it a try with your dog. We think you'll find it's a helpful skill in your journey toward a fear-free, happy home.